The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome back, Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas. Okay, so, Rody, you have been wanting to have this gentleman on the show for a while. For at least a week. Oh, okay. I know. And tight, we have a very tight filming schedule. We're lucky we could get it. I know, Well, right? yeah, something came up, and I was like, Bobby's like, I should be on that now, show. Now, wait a minute. We got, he's got a story. Okay. Well, t- tell him the okay, story. Okay, your real name is Roberto. Right. Birth uh, name is Roberto. Your birth name is Roberto. Right. And what happened? In elementary here in Wichita, Kansas, uh, school, they changed my sister's and my name. And Roberto became? Bobby. Bobby. Because it's easier to say, I guess, I don't know. And my sister from Elisa to Lisa, Rodolfo to Rudy, and Victor to Victor, and my little sister Consuelo to Connie. Wow. So they sent us home, told our parents, say they changed their name at school. And Um. (laughs) And Donald Trump wasn't even running for office. Then, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I'm thinking those names are a lot easier than most I've heard. Yeah, but I know, but they don't send home. Even... They don't send notes home to your parents. Like, we no. changed your kid's name now. No, did it show up that way on the report cards and everything? Everything, everything changed from there all the way to high school to wow. you know, graduation. And so, and so your high school diploma then would have Bobby on it and not Roberto. Uh, yes. What about your like your driver's license? No, all and, that's Roberto. Oh, that's, I've got you know regulation uh, okay. over it You've now. You've got all that taken. In elementary, I didn't have any power. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Because you weren't eighteen. That's right. Or older. Yeah, okay. So in addition to Roberto, aka Bobby, aka Mister. Almost know it all. Almost, Almost. You know it all. We hey. figured we needed an expert on a whole bunch on of stuff. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. This is to corroborate be Don. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, no. Good luck with that. Bobby and I get we team together, by the way. I'm sure oh, you will. <laughs> okay, all right. We're both kind of nutty when it comes to that. All right, what's well, right. topic yeah. one? Anybody pick a topic? Topic one. I don't know. Oh, who we were brought just, that. There we go. That's a great topic. Topic one. I don't is, know. That, did it come I, out of your garden? No, I came out of my garden and I saw it. I immediately thought of our very good friend Fossa. Right? Very good friend Fossa. I mean, it's just a shape. <laughs> you know, she likes clubs. She's a clubber. I she, know. Guys get, you know, people get in her way, she clubs them. And so okay. I thought about Fossa and I brought it in to, to treat her. We love you, Fossa. I have no idea where you are right now. I think you're on one of your vacations. So we love you. And yeah. I don't know if your present will be fresh by the time you get back. Well, you know, maybe not. Might be a little, yeah. I don't have the answer for you, but where did the bumps come from? That we don't know because we took a bunch. Here's what happened. Last year we had uh, a lot of cucumbers. This year I wanted squash. I love squash. I'm not used to that shape of squash, but I love them. So my wife found a bunch of old seeds from several years ago. She just threw them here, threw them there, and boom. We found out that one squash plant is probably too many. <laughs> they, wow. We have like three oh, they're crazy. Three. Oh, my gosh. You have a yeah. bunch of them. We've got a bunch of them. They've turned into, I don't know, if you can see this set right here, the circle that we're sitting in, yeah. Yeah. that would be one small plant. Yeah, you can take But now out. they're starting out. I wish it would die because um, <laughs> I've got... Well, were they I planted, taking over your cucumbers? No, they're taking over my... My pumpkins that I planted later, oh, and there was yeah. there was like this much space in between them, but they're taking up like six feet in diameter. Squash so. have leaves. About three of them would make that shirt. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. Right. And so, and we've like I think we've eaten. We well, even gave Bobby some squash. Mm-hmm. Do the leaves retain the water to take it to this? Yes, it just is that what it does. Yeah. And I asked a question to somebody the other day: Is what were like watermelons? All the moisture that it sucks up in there. Right. Mm-hmm. What would happen if they were raised in contaminated areas? Would it filter the water going to? The- Ooh, that's, that's a, a good, good question. question. So. What I do know about something like that, I had a friend who owned an RV company in northern Indiana. And he was visiting, like, selling stuff in China and Russia and some places like that. And there's this particular poplar tree in China that grows in the worst of conditions and totally polluted conditions and actually sucks up all the pollution out of the soil and cleans the soil. Just kind of like what you're you saying. Yeah. The rain? You're not, no, this is something completely different. different. Yeah. And so what they did is he imported a bunch of these type of poplar trees into mm-hmm. this area, northern Indiana, which was a super fun site, Absolutely. mind you. Northern they couldn't get it clean. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so what they did is he got a bunch of uh, bunch of homeless people 
gave them jobs in planting all these poplar trees, which grow super fast. And at the end, because it was it was public property, but he was able to harvest the trees and replant the trees and use those trees in his RVs. What? But it had filtered out all the... And so it's no longer a super fun site. It got rid of all right. the pollution. Now, I That's know that amazing. there are some farmers that use a certain plant that the root goes down in, and it does some contamination cleanup itself. Yeah. To, the, That's amazing. The roots. So, I mean, but the water, though, I guess the... The filterization comes through probably the leaves, whatever, and feeds well, the fruit. We did an experiment sort of like that or with a science thing with a watermelon, uh-huh. and we had poured some vodka in there and let it set. Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other story. I call that pool party. <laughs> that's a whole other story. Yeah, mm-hmm. That worked though. But I don't know if you'd want to. I don't know if you'd want to eat it. Uh, yeah, it I don't may think filter. So. It may clean the soil. Yeah. Filter the soil. No, but maybe yeah, right. probably the contaminants might it. stick yeah. in the wood, and it wouldn't be. Well, I'm wondering what uh, what kind of contaminants were those because we've got so many areas right now with a lot of metals. And this was this would have been lead and heavy metals. It would have been. Yeah. Then why aren't we getting those trees planted? Why aren't we doing that? Why aren't we doing that in multiple areas here? Very little money to be made on planting a tree. Have to do well. And like what they were doing though, they were taking the pot, the product, harvesting it, and using it in their RVs as real wood Mm -hmm. instead of particle board and and veneer. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it turned like, into really? you use that as a building supply. Yeah. Sweet. Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you? I mean, it's kind of like you know we can like bamboo. How you see uh-huh. a lot of bamboo flooring and all that stuff. It mm-hmm. grows super fast. Oh yeah. It's super cheap. You can cut it all down and replant it, and you got the you it got it back up. Back but we want to use all these really rare woods like mm-hmm. mahogany mm-hmm. and cherry and teak and all that oh, stuff. Yeah, right. That were basically kind of devastating, and that's just. That's just my take on it. It's like, you know, I it looks you pretty to, cool. Why not just use that instead of... I think you need to research the name of that tree and get that information to the city council because they have announced whether it's the Goddard water supply. There's been a couple other on the east side, but there's yeah. pockets. Yeah. Uh, well, the whole west side got contaminated water because of that mortuary, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Contaminated from the mortuary? Well, yeah, embalming <laughs> fluid. Embalming fluid. Oh, I that's gross. Were, there's a lot of people that run stuff down the drain. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. We've, we've asked and we've That's why we have environmental. Please. Hey, you know what? Yeah. If it's contaminated with uh, Percocet and stuff like that, I'm cool. Oh, uh, shoot. <laughs> they take say it is, right? actually. Yeah. <laughs> take me to Colorado. I'll take that kind of uh, filtered <laughs> water any day of the week. Here's the so, bottle of water from Colorado. Hey, yeah. I already like that around. New product. New product. <laughs> sending it over. You can buy it on your shelves. There you go. There you go. I think it is kind of cool, though, over there, all these different new products. You know, whether it's energy drinks, and I'm thinking, okay, there's got, it's got to be sativa. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, you know, all these different like, because I'm, a, I'm, I'm not the sativa type. I'm the exact. I'm, uh, what is it? Come on. Indica. 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 Yeah, I'm the indica chick. Uh, we both know that from Reader's Digest. Okay, yeah, right. Read yeah, yeah. 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 But, but, Reader's Digest does a lot of articles. But I think yeah. the names yeah. anymore are just yeah. cracking me up. You know, have you ever been there and oh, seen my. the names? Some uh, days. Officially yeah. on the record, no. Six, you got Bubba Cush. You got. Now the one that we like a whole lot is a Chong Chong Star. That's Chong Star. Now what are we talking Chong? about? Eating stuff with cannabinoids in it? Is that what yeah. Uh, yeah. Which sure they have a lot of enhanced products. We yeah. make a mean brownie or something. Just remember well, to we keep the brownies hid from the kids. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, you got to yeah. keep the stuff up you know, and away from the you kids. You heard about that, right? The kids got into the wrong brownies at the uh, house yeah. and they had to take yeah. them to the hospital and get them checked out. So, yeah, that's really probably uh, not cool and kind of stupid on the part of the parents if you ask. For sure. I mean, I, I mean, especially, you know, people say, oh, it's so much stronger, you know, and no, it's really not, because if you compare back in, what was it back then, the... Uh, back in the 70s, this, Wichita, even Wichita could get the best hash, hash yeah. ever. I mean, this is like one hit hash. It was awesome. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, this is, <laughs> now, remember, what, remember, now, there is a, a law that you cannot be under the influence of cannabinoids while you're driving, right? Correct. Absolutely. Okay, well, that would be a good idea, because... I never heard the word stuck until the other day. Uh-huh. Have you ever been stuck? Have I've been stuck, stuck in mud. Yeah, that's the whole different meaning. Okay, that do is, tell, do tell. Stuck educate. is what I understand is where you smoke your Whatever. weed yeah. and you find yourself in a zero zone that you don't know. You're just kind of like stuck. Like you're not going anywhere. You forgot things and you're stuck. Oh, a couch lock. There, couch lock. Check it out. Stuck. <laughs> oh, can, you, can, you, can you imagine all your UPS and FedEx guys oh, uh, and get shit done? Yeah, a lot of your uh, indicas, <laughs> a lot of your indicas are advertised as. Oh, by the way, you get couch lock. And it just yeah, couch lock. Yeah. You get so wow. relaxed, so relaxed yeah. that 
Wow, I don't think there's a need for me to move anyway. You'll sit exactly. there and look at the refrigerator and, and wonder if you're going to eat, right? No, you just sit there and look at the refrigerator and go. A treatment for insomnia. So you've been stuck before, and you've been couch locked. I've been couch locked. Oh, wow. Yes. Have you ever heard of this? No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess you have it. Okay. Uh, you spent a lot of time in Pueblo. Here it is, <laughs> me, Rody, with all these liberals. <laughs> oh yeah, that's real funny, honey. Oh, you don't want to get you? into politics now. Huh? I, oh yeah, right, you're oh, here. Yeah. You know, we're, we're taping during the Republican convention. I thought for sure. Yeah. You know, man on the street or something. You know. Oh yeah. How much time is left there? Uh, okay, we better not get into this yet because this is going to go on longer than that. So keep it on. Yeah, we're keep just it on, talking about keep it on the Colorado thing for gardens, just a minute gardens, and a half. Gardens, gardens. And, uh, and, and other kinds of gardens available in Colorado. Well, I've been like I've been into canning madness. Lately. Yeah, yeah. So Ooh. tomatoes are coming on strong, Good. and so I'm getting down the marinara sauce, whole tomatoes, and then pickles are done, cucumbers are done, ended cool. up with I don't know how um, thousands. Oh, right We've on. seen that. Uh, you but, should take the picture and put it on in your garden. It's like, I wish about you oh, yeah, we can do that. Is it a half a or bigger? Right? It's a nice garden. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. probably. Yeah, it's, it's big. Quite it's a bit. pretty, it it's pretty like, massive, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you Makes you go, oh, why did I do that? How many, people people do, how many people yeah. work it? Do you work it yourself? Or uh, somebody help Myself and uh, my wife, Jamie, you okay. know, she's a hard worker. shows up in there once in a while. And then, actually, it's She's going to come kick your butt. She is here today. No, she actually picked the tomatoes on the last one that I can. Yeah. Uh, then my dad, it's kind of he's got Parkinson's, and so it's kind of his therapy to go out there oh, and walk. Oh, right. He can't really pull weeds or bend over yeah. or anything like that. But he makes sure in the times like recently Not to be we had. Funny, a, but so if he grabs the fruit, he can shake the dirt off. Yeah, he can shake the. There you go. Shake the <laughs> tomatoes right <laughs> off. Right <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving that in. But right yeah, now. it's a yeah, it's a it's it's a it's an it's an enterprise. We've been trying. We've been actually you know selling some of it at the farmers markets. And That's what Jamie was saying. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was a, it's an awesome garden. I mean, yeah, yeah it's I've seen spectacular. Yeah, yeah. and it kind of has I'm learning to try to figure out the waves of what's. What's on now and what's on, you know, Ooh. next week. We'll come week over to and Colorado and uh, we'll show you some waves. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Show you some couch walk. Green waves of couch, oh, couch walk. Yeah. Couch walk. All right, we'll be back with real more, with more real people. <laughs> Politics coming up. Yeah. Oh. Wow, watch out. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2NVMe.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Tune in every Monday at 7.30 a.m. for Real People, Real Life as we cover current events and local happenings. Real Life issues with special guests and spotlight local business and politics. If it's in Kansas, we cover it. Real People, Real Life, Monday at 7.30 a.m. on My TV Wichita. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. It's the annual 2 plus 2 equals 0 at Credit King Auto Sales. I told Dad, perfect timing. It's right in time for back to school. It is so easy. Two years of your job, two years where you live, 
and with those two things, you can drive off with zip, zero, nada, nothing down. Pretty cool, huh? Come in now and save some serious money with the annual Credit King 2 plus 2 equals zero down payment. Credit King Auto Sales. Bad credit, no credit, no worries at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Welcome back. We're real people, real life. Lord, I can't even talk today. I think it was that first segment, okay, about gardening. I know. The cannabinoids discussion. Kind yeah. Of kind of yeah. Foggy. That kind of, you know, kind of took kind us in different directions. Subject. Yeah, we kind of did. So and joining squash. us again and is, of course, Roberto, Bobby, and or Mr. Almost Know It All. Yeah. And, of course, Don Landis and Sean Rhodes. What's your name, my friend? My name is Daylin Rivers. What was that? Jalen Rivers. Okay. Rivers. What's your name, honey? I'm Sequoia Jones. Okay, what's your name, honey? I'm Keisha Glover. Huh? Keisha Glover. Keisha Glover. Okay. So, and they just so, popped in here. Yeah. <laughs> These guys. So, we figured we'd put them on to keep it real. Because well, it's yeah. real people. Real people, real life. So, you guys are here at Mind Fire. We're shooting at Mind Fire today, which is a fantastic um, facility here. Bethel Life still involved. Bethany. Bethany. Okay, Bethany. Sorry about that. And it's right over here in the old Wichita Harry Street Mall on Harry Street. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we do the shows here. And another gentleman has a show that he does here. Um, that's both Marquise. TV. Marquise Murphy. Marquise. Now, is this what you guys are doing? That's yeah. what I was asking. If that's what y'all were here to do? Yes. So, uh, what, what's what's the plan? Can you tell us? Well, we put that we put out media on we put out media on social media talking about current life events. Uh, we have our own TV show, which is on uh, my TV. My TV. Same station. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Marquise. Come here. Come here. Get over here. <laughs> Marquise, you come right over here. Right, we are right, about yeah. to film a segment on inner city peace. Inner city peace. Ooh, white on. Which you can go online and buy for twenty nine ninety five. <laughs> Good job. Oh, Is this going to be on the show? Uh, yes, we can definitely do that. These uh, young people have been doing phenomenal. We've been trying to teach them some uh, really cool media uh, Things as far as like layout design, fi um, filming, editing, those types of things. So they've learned a lot. And now there's a young lady who is among us somewhere in this room who is spearheading this uh, teens for inner city peace. I like that. Yes, it's really cool. So okay. if we had some time, maybe one day we can have her come in and talk I would to love you to do about that. some of the issues okay. that's going on. So it's really okay. unique because we believe that the uh, teens have um, a voice you know, to share yes. about one of the, some of the things that they're believing that they can do in the community to make an impact. Right. I think there were like three different focal points that they were looking at uh, as far as teens. Do you guys remember what that was? Uh, a know? quiz it was on TV. Um, it was uh, racial it, relationships, education, and and jobs. jobs. Right. So, yeah, something okay. to that effect. So, it, so it, those three topics, you're going to try to cover those in your show? Yeah, we're going to cover those not only just in our shows, but also with the inner city piece of movement that we're, we, yeah, there you go, that we're dealing with. So, this uh, is cool. So, Team Center City Peace, real quick, so that you know, yes. um, we're going to, we're looking for some people to support us right. with uh, a, a campaign that we're doing. We're going to give away about 400 backpacks, okay. uh, 200 for the homeless, 200 for back to school, uh -huh. and we believe that that's going to be real powerful. And, and Can you remind everybody that the, the name of your organization and the fact that it is a not-for-profit? Yes, our non-profit non organization is called the Youth Educational Empowerment Program. Okay. And um, it is not proper. Our focus is teaching financial literacy to young people. Uh -huh. And through that, we have these different projects where, you know, these kids have the opportunity to share their vision and their passion and make a difference. Sweet. Good deal. Good, Good deal. Good deal. Go I mean, I'll go to Wichita West. And where do you? I'm about to go to South. <clears throat> I'm in Northeast Magnet. And I graduated from North. Oh, there wow. you Look, go. I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> so sorry. Well, you know, I mean, he had that story about being in grade school. Right. Or his, see, his real name is well, Roberto. Well, uh, at, uh, at our grade school, they changed our names. Mm. So Roberto, for you, now became Bobby, right. but tell the and other. My sister was Elisa to Lisa, uh -huh. Rodolfo to Rudy, and Victor to Victor, and Consuelo to Connie. Wow. So this was how many years ago? It's been a couple of years. A few years yeah. back. So here, a few years back, yeah. they immediately, so that's to, that was with him mm -hmm. through his graduation. And I don't know if other families were that way. And they did it to several others, too, I'm sure. Yeah. My parents so. were both from Mexico. Right. They immigrated here in 1950. Wow. Mm. And made y'all, made your kids change your names at school. Well, in the at school. elementary, yeah. 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 And that stuck with you, though, through high school. Right. But well, what did they do to 
I really don't have that answer for you. I didn't quiz them as young kids, and they just said, oh, here, they put stickers on us and said, these are going to be your new names. Yeah, and can you imagine going home to your mom and dad, oh, here's my new name? Wow. That's kind of weird. So My mom wouldn't have I was going to say, I, but, but you know, you look back and how things were, I'm guessing, I'm going to say like in the 60s <coughs> versus how things are now. And some things were kind of similar in mirroring and mirroring each other. You know, it's almost like sometimes history repeating itself. But I think the, the one big difference is the willingness to work together and learn from previous mistakes. I see that a lot more going on now, learning from previous mistakes mm -hmm. and not allowing it to happen again. Absolutely. I think that's the difference I'm seeing. How do you guys feel? What do you think? Well, I mean, how would you feel if you were in grade school and you and your brothers and sisters came home with your names changed? How would you feel? I'd be upset. Okay. I'd be upset too because my mom gave me that name for a reason. Exactly. Yeah. Don't you feel that your your mom's your? I mean, I know with my daughter there was a very specific reason, you know, why I named her that. Yeah. And I would be furious. And and you know, um, her name is Sierra, spelled C I A R A. How did I know there was ever going to be? you know, 24 years later, a pop star with the same name. Because right. <laughs> yeah. I had one of those children where you go into the, the store and you're looking for their name on a yeah. key ring yeah. or anything, and you're like, well, I'm completely yeah. out of luck yeah. here. Yeah, can't find can't mine. Find, yeah. 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 Can't, can't find mine. Can't find mine. Uh-huh. Now, yeah. I, you remember, here I got one better. Remember Rapper Room? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. I was yeah. always waiting for them to yeah. say my yeah. name. Yeah. I know. Oh, they have no idea what Rapper Room <laughs> or, is. Or, or when they had <laughs> the little Pepsi Rapper things that had the back of your name, like had a name on it. And I, the only time I could find the one close to mine, it was like, I was in Oklahoma actually when I had found it. And I was like, what? They actually have one of my name on it? When did they start actually print, printing real names? So. <laughs> they don't have one with my name on it because it's different. Yeah, but to be honest, like if it was me, I'd really be appalled and upset because, like, like me and my brother, my brother is named after my dad. But then again, his dad, my dad's name is in a sentence of his name because his name is Jonas, but it's pronounced Joe and us. But, oh wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, but it, it has a it has a little sentimental value to it. But if they had changed his name in grade school, that would have said it him. I've said it my mom, and of course, said it my dad. Like that, it, it would it wouldn't have been nice. So people don't take into consideration when you you're married, you have a child, all the work you go through to figure out a name. Yeah, no kidding. And there's discussions, arguments, and things, and boom, then books. Hey, all the babies' names, man. Yeah, Those are daughter, the biggest. My books daughter's ever. names is Caitlin, and then Matea, and Matea was a. a Hawaiian goddess, I think that's what How cool is that? It. It's spelled M A T A Y A. Oh. Named after an Indian princess. There you go. Oh, all right the work. On. And then one day they just decided, you know, that's a little difficult for us to say. That's the only thing I can gather is why they did that. Wow, wow. But we got back, we got uh, engineered, and we started selling burritos in high school. Hey, there you to go. get back at him. No, I'm just kidding. Ah! Oh, there you go. There you go. Get him with There's the burritos. How much did you charge? Get him with $2. the burritos. $2. $2. $2. That's, that's pretty good. They're about that big. Oh, 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 oh I would came to you. I was going to say, you should have bought some of those today. You know, I just wanted to kind of make a point. I, I hear what you guys are saying and dealing with a lot of different race relations. Same thing we're looking to do with um, inner city peace. Um, I, one of the things that I think that's a problem, and we've discussed even in our, in, with our group, uh, what the real issue is. Right. And we feel like people are view people of color, and just get with me just for a second, like they're spiders. Have you ever seen a spider? If, if I were to say there was a spider right there, one of the first things you would think to do is to do what? I'm taking off. He's going to run. <laughs> if it's a brown recluse, I, I got to tell you. Right. They, they, you they don't want to like put his foot on him. You don't want to run. That's, <laughs> that's, that's all I say. That's, <laughs> that's really awesome because that's the point. A lot of times when we see a spider, you think to kill it, to, to run, to do something with it. But if it was a butterfly, our response is like, oh, wow, look at that butterfly. It's neat. It's cute. And I think the issue that we've had it, it, with media over the years. The media been, has been one of you guys' biggest problems. Exactly. Not just y'all's, but in, in a lot of us lot in of our us. lives has created major issues. Because the media really doesn't show none of the good things that Black. our race and colors. It doesn't show. Yeah, it doesn't, that, sell. It doesn't, it doesn't say doesn't none sell. of that. It doesn't, that, it doesn't show <laughs> all the good things and all the all the medals and everything that we have actually done for our humanity uh, that that we've actually brought to the table. Good news, you know, just being in media since 1984, and I know we're going late here, but being in media since 1984, I will tell you, honey, and that's sad to say, but good news doesn't 
revenue doesn't generate a lot of revenue mm -hmm. and that's sad to say but that is the truth it's, and it's so like a marketing what, tool it, it, yeah. it is very much a marketing tool and a lot of times what they'll do and why I've said and I've said this thousands of times I don't like what we call snippets mm -hmm. okay and a lot of video and Rodi and I were the first ones that brought this to Wichita for one of the local networks we did a uh, advertising campaign where we went on location and we shot instead of a 30 or 60 second TV commercial we were doing two minute and uh, 50 second vignettes is what we call them or snippets okay because you can't really educate anybody on a 30 or 60 second message it's impossible I mean think how fast that is you can get a few words in maybe a few pictures but it never is enough to tell the whole story so to me to go back to the old school ways of like a, a 60 minutes program for example where you're back to having an hour or 30 minutes where you can talk to people like we're doing right here right now mm -hmm. nothing is real edited people. out real yeah. real except he, except when he says something that well, I have to edit out okay. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. um, but I mean we're sitting here talking about all kinds of issues mm -hmm. and it's totally cool you're not going to get a chance to see that in, 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 in a 30 or 60 second commercial. So, so what you're saying is the point that we're making is mm -hmm. how people are able to see us. And that's right. kind of what, why I use the example with the whole spider. And I know some mm -hmm. people may not be able to get with it. But even with the initials of the ICP, and, and I know it kind of seems like I'm trying to sell this, but the mission and what we're trying to do behind this is critical. Right. Uh, the initials are ICP, but we will go with ICPs. And one of the things that we're working with Jalen, he's about to put together um, a, a little nice little talk for us, talking about how do you see me? And when you see oh, me, what cool. do you see? You know, mm. and our goal is to get cool. people to see peace or see us. You know, when you see us or when you see um, young people walking around, if they have on a hoodie such as this with some, uh, what is it, some Skittles, you should be in fear of that. You know, well, actually, I, I'm kind of digging the hoodie. I don't have any Skittles, but I'm sure my right, There you go. All right. But, but of course, now, you know, we know that in the past, someone could walk around with a hoodie and some Skittles and be killed because they see them like they would see a spider, a threat. Why are you here? Why are you in my area? There's no reason you should be here. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, I see exactly and, what you're saying. And that's what we have to change in America or throughout the um, nation so that we can move past this mm -hmm. negative, you know, uh, 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 way I, we were looking at each other so you can keep your name so you can be who you are so that you can still share your passions and your dreams right. and allow all those skills to come about so that's what we're about that's what we're trying to do with this can you and give me um, when does your show air on my TV we're on um, Saturday mornings around 1030 I believe okay. 1030 11 o'clock um, but you can usually find, and find it 636 and 1036 on my TV depending on if they have Cox Cable, AT&T, yes. or Dish, or DirecTV. Yeah. So my, whatever network you're watching well, I, on it now is yeah, the same one on Saturday same morning, right? You're going to see their show on, <laughs> yeah. which is us, and we're on Monday morning, so you guys are on Saturday. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. And the other thing, you can always go to our website, right. TeamViewMagazine.com. That's TeamViewMagazine.com. Okay. And you can watch all of our magazines, look at all of our episodes and everything. Uh -huh. so, okay. And well, if somebody wanted to donate to the uh, yes, mini projects that you That doing, we absolutely do. Yeah, absolutely. You can go to mygeep.org. M Y Y E E P dot O R G, and you can donate to our calls, get some information about the inner city. Can piece. you buy these? And you can get, we'll have information so you can buy this. This would be great because buying these shirts will help support twenty nine ninety five. What a deal! Man. That's a great deal. Is that the price? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. Or you can just make a donation. Here, here's something I want to ask. Okay, uh, something like, how do you see me? All right, mm -hmm. and what do you see? Now, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm older than you are. And as a kid, I looked through my eyes, not looking at a mirror, looking back at me and seeing maybe a guy that looks Italian, Jewish, uh, Arabic, and things like that. I just look out, and I guess I see America. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you look out of your eyes and see your image of yourself being a black man? Well, or do you just not, look out and you see the world and, and go out? I try not to see myself as the typical black man. I try to see myself as the American way. The like picture picture that like we're all getting along as we are doing right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody everybody's not grasping that grasping that understanding to where this is what we're talking about. Inner city peace and is throughout all races, throughout all nationalities to where it can be a cause to make 
thousands of effects mm -hmm. to have a better solution to where we can all get along. To create, where, I think once you get past that, people start making things, creating mm -hmm. things, yeah. get mm -hmm. the freedom to go forward and right. grow. And, you know, I remember my dad uh, years ago, he gave a, I don't know if people remember it or not. Some people might on TV. Uh, he gave a, a corn grinder to the Old Mill Tasty Shop. And he used to help her wash dishes a long time ago. Okay. From Douglas. Mm -hmm. But uh, I saw him, you know, taking us down there. And then, some, you know, you start working. A guy wants to be in business for himself like I am. And uh, that gives you time to grow instead of fighting the, the media of racism and those things. That takes up so much energy. Mm -hmm. It, it, it takes does. a focus on you growing as right. a person. Yeah. Right. So, um, have, yeah. it, have you guys been over to, I, I'm sure you went, but uh, uh, Vice Mayor Levanta toured us on Redbud, the the tour that you can take up there. Have you all been? Mm -hmm. The Bicycle Path. This the Bicycle Path? Oh, yeah, the Bicycle Path. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I live right by cool it. or what? I, yeah, I live okay. right by it. I was so, actually there when it was being built. Okay. Is that thing not cool or what? It is. And there's a lot of history there. And, and the thing that a lot of people don't know, and if they want to go back and watch that show on the tour of Rosebud, um, we, the city of Wichita and the people of Wichita, made huge, huge uh, uh, sacrifices. And they made a lot of things happen, okay, for a positive, better tomorrow that happened right here in Wichita. Some of those situations actually happened right here on Douglas, mm -hmm. you know. So if you walk that path, and we spent a lot of time there, and some of my friends were like, oh, we remember this guy, or we remember that girl, or, I mean, so many people that really made so much of a positive change in so many ways. You need to get to know these people. Like the first black um, uh, lawyer, I can't think of his name right off, but I mean, it, all this culture and, and history is right there, mm -hmm. you know? And, and it, it, I'm like, have you ever been there? If you haven't been, you've got to go. All right. Make sure you guys all go to the bike trail. Like, this is in the near northeast area. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all around. Yeah. And it, they're not done with it. I mean, they're still expanding yeah, it. Yeah. And the day that we were there with uh, uh, Vice Mayor Labonte, we were on the side would be the east side of the WSU campus mm -hmm. and she was talking about how they were building the new hotel mm -hmm. and all the yeah. new things yeah because they were building the, another she, east wing of, onto WSU yeah I live right down the street from well then you know how it's yeah. growing <laughs> oh yeah, cause I it remember is. when it's all, it was all just a golf course right <laughs> okay so right now where's that um, new art whatever that art, the art, mark? The art yeah the art mark. art mark isn't that supposed to be on like that's over in my house, 13th and Rock Road. 13th and Rock, okay. The that's... one that Mrs. Coke is building? Right. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be pretty cool, too. All right. So huge. that'll be a nice, was, that's nice been an open area for a very long time. It's huge. Oh, that's yeah. going to be fun. Mm. Is there anything, real quick, that you guys would like to get out about the show? <coughs> These are $29.95. $29.95. We have t shirts, we have hoodie, hoodies, we have okay. caps and beanies, so uh, even some of the special. Clothing that the Where girls can I like find to wear. some of this stuff? Is it on the website? Right now, you can go to innercitypeace.com. Okay. Inner City Peace. At fashion. Oh, oh, so, Inner in City Peace. Just Google Inner City Peace. You'll find us. Uh, okay. you know, that Do art, I have to put like slash or anything? Right. No, right. no, no, no. So, okay. yeah, you have white ones. We're coming out with a couple Color of different green. colors. Yeah, a lot more different uh, colors. Yeah. They have some nice, uh, cool things that they're uh, going to uh, use and everything uh, else. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, yeah. she said hot pink. We can even work that out too. Can we work out a really cool hot pink one? You, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? yeah come like on, that. Come on. Bring it over. Come over here. Come over here. See that? I like that come one. On. Can I just walk come on over here. Backpack and all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> come this way. See, I like that one. Yeah. Inner city piece. Get a picture of that, honey. I like that one. Is that one available for sale? That one is also available for sale. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Don't good leave. Deal. How long, how long are you all going to be here today? Oh, uh, we're here all day. So okay. All right. We've got a couple segments we're going to do. Um, and then uh, uh, I'm going to be needing one like that. All right. All right. You guys, nice Thank to, you so nice so to much. see you it's again. I love good seeing you. Good. Did nice to meet you. Right. Congratulations on Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. 
You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. It's the annual 2 plus 2 equals 0 at Credit King Auto Sales. I told Dad, perfect timing. It's right in time for back to school. It is so easy. Two years of your job, two years where you live, and with those two things, you can drive off with zip, zero, nada, nothing down. Pretty cool, huh? Come in now and save some serious money with the annual Credit King 2 plus 2 equals 0 down payment. Credit King Auto Sales. Bad credit, no credit, no worries at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas, America. America. That was crazy. Yeah, wasn't it? That was. <laughs> that was fun. Well, you know, whenever whenever the students from Mindfire, you know, come popping in, yep. you know, we're always like, hey, get on over here, get on over here. And they're doing yeah. a cool thing. They're doing a lot of cool things. That's Bethany uh, College at Mindfire, right? Right. Over at East Cherry Street. Yeah. yeah. Right That's yeah. right. That's right. right. So, All right. I don't want to get back to you. Mr. No, almost Mister. everything. So I, I offered up, you know, who wants to start the conversation with what? So and we did on. the, the yeah. We talked about that and cannabinoids. How about this one? What next? You're going to talk well, about guys, the uh, well, Republican well, I, convention just started. What do you think about that? Is there any good? Sometimes they're always trying to figure out. They try to dissect anything. That well, I'm hoping that the Democrats good want or bad. to learn how to avoid all the boring stuff, you know, whatever. Yeah. I thought she, I thought Donald Trump's wife did a fabulous job. She did. I thought she knocked it out of the park. And then I get up this morning to hear negative about it that she copied some of a few lines. The lines, lines I looked at side by side. I've said those things myself. Uh -huh. When I talk about my family, right. my family's values, I've been on the stump talking this or that, and we talk almost the same way. It's generalized. It's a very beautiful. Except that thing. was that was almost in for. Bait them though, and you would think that with I the guess. amount of money they have invested in this, they would have somebody looking I into these such things. One is two sentences. <laughs> That's one thing. It's a very short amount of a very long speech. Two is border plate language that almost everybody uses. If we were to dissect it, and I would suspect by the end of the week, they will come up with at least a hundred other politicians who said almost the same thing. But this border plate language. I mean, there, there's it, there's a formula like correct. someone selling something. They have a formula exactly. step right. by step by step by step. The and people that call your house that you don't want to talk to that yeah. are trying to sell you something, they have a certain monologue that they're yeah, going to do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can only say husband in so many words. You can only say <laughs> trust in so many words. You can say help so many ways. Family value. So there was uh, a few, but there wasn't a bunch. They didn't yeah. run the whole thing. They only had like Correct. a couple of three-minute blurbs that yeah. that she said the same thing that she did. But, I mean, but it was like in verbatim, it's a, though. It's a possibility yeah, that they a both felt short, short amount, Rody. A short amount. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's just like... Here's me. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I was watching the coverage beforehand, and they were talking about, you know, the pundits were talking about yeah. how, well, is there anything she could do to screw this up? And they're like, eh, not really. I mean, what could yeah. you do to screw it up? And I'm like... How, I mean, yeah, I will agree. Now, how do they, speech writing. How do they keep? That. How do they keep screwing up like this? Well, I mean, they get some, some point. Other That's one speech. Did it you is. See, did you watch Rudy Giuliani's speech? I did. We kept waiting for his head to explode. Oh I swear man! To God, I thought it was coming any moment. He, he did. He was. He, he, he was pushing it hard, wasn't he? Oh wow! I, yeah. it, dude, what did you think about the the hug when he went up to his wife? It seemed a little cold. Well, let me tell you what I think and of everything that went on yesterday. He was yeah. pointing at her like, "Did you pass gas?" 
I missed that. Yeah, he was pointing at her. Are you right talking there. about Trump or Giuliani? Yeah. No, Trump, oh, Trump, Trump. his wife, when he went up to say, you know. I, I he didn't have give to. her a big hug, <laughs> give her a kiss. He just kind of went. Uh, and just pointing at it like giving her. Uh, you know, well, like, they did. They hey, kind of hey, did hey. the Italian ma 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 thing. Come on, really? New Yorker. Yeah. They're New Yorker. He should have grabbed her and dipped her. <laughs> yeah, you know. And no, I have seen that done at. Uh, 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 oh, that was. I've seen that done at. Gore. How did Gore get it done? I said the New York values that Ted Cruz always talked about. <laughs> they might as well just to high five each other with uh, hey, there there you go. Go. I was only ca catching headlines here and there briefly yesterday um, because uh, I made the mistake of leaving um, um, not my laptop, which would have been actually worse, but I left my tablet and somebody got into uh, my Facebook account, my uh, email, a couple of credit cards, um, fun stuff like that. So I spent hours and hours, in fact, um, somebody was like, how many hours did you spend on the phone with the um, credit card people? Okay. Well, let's see. Here's this one credit card number yesterday. That, let's see if that's Good advice, one. everybody. Stay off credit cards. Oh, my God. Yeah, don't <laughs> use them either. Don't use them. What do you um, do, though? If you rent a car, you have to have a, a debit and then, card. like a hotel or whatever. Even okay. a debit card, so though. So this was have one credit yeah, card number. Card, but the debit card is not a credit card. Right. True. No, okay, one credit card number, and this was 30%. 18 minutes, 41 seconds. The next one was 33 minutes and 34 seconds. The next one was 24 minutes and 7 seconds. And those were that way because every time I told them what was going on and how I got an alert of uh, possible fraudulent charges in the middle of the night, every time I would call them back, they would disconnect me. Oh, my, we need to send you to the fraud department. We need to send you to this department. And every time they would transfer me after I'd been holding for 18, 24, 30 minutes, drop my call. So there's like six to one that's credit horrible. card company. So yesterday. that took you away from watching the convention. Yes, I was that's a little a bit more concerned with get getting, get my, the, getting my identity and my crap back. Yeah. To get out the politics, I'd like to get into what you just touched upon, and that's financial literacy. You talked about credit oh, yeah. cards and paying, I guess, paying yeah. cash. Yeah, it's got to, you got to, don't live beyond your means. I mean, that right. people get going. Well, if you look at the interest rates it's on ridiculous. credit cards, I've been getting more on like. print, you guys. they got to redefine uh, print. It's like free for a year, yeah, and then it goes up to 23.9%. But, but if you're late within that period, then it takes you to a different rate and deals off. Right. Absolutely. And see, that was one of my cards, the two that were used. Okay. So, but I'm one of those, I pay the balance each month. Okay? That's what people hope for. Yeah. It's better just to get rid of them and use a debit card. Yeah, you can I, load the card when you're going somewhere, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Now, what I found out, like a, like last month, because lately with that though, but uh, I've been yeah, renting yeah. cars to go places mm -hmm. so I don't mess with mine. Because right. in case, like the last yeah. time we took, you know, my wife's truck, which was, mm -hmm. you know, fine, we get down to Dallas and the tire front tires acting kind of fishy, so we had to replace the whole ball bearing because that was five hundred mm -hmm. bucks. So I'm like, wow. we could have spent one hundred and fifty to rent a car, a car. Yeah. Yeah. and had something. You know that I don't right. have to worry with, Sometimes but you have to have, and most most of those car major. companies, you have to have a major credit card, right. not they a debit card, a debit. credit card, or they won't rent to you. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is in there to be drink. Well, they they freeze a certain dollar amount. They pre they pre authorize the debit card for a certain amount. They don't use it, but they freeze it. Okay. But so I use, they can't I use Avis rent a car, and that's mm -hmm. a All right. company. And that you've I used been to able to do for. that. Yeah. With a debit? Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying because I'm anti debit credit. I'm anti credit card too. Sometimes they push you into it. It's like a lot of things that our government. I take the exact. I take a different tack because what we get, we have like a one and a half, you know, cash back on our credit card. We run everything through it. We get the we pay it off at the end of the month, but we get a you know point and a half on our money. Why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. We got it's called with, discipline. Is what that's called. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you it got, works you, for us. It works yeah. for you guys, and I guess it's. But still, the credit cards are there to, to win. Well, I've used them, them in the past. I understand yeah. what you're saying. I know a lot of businesses use it, but they usually pay them at the end of the month before yeah. the. Mm -hmm. I always pay it at the end. Of the Mine's month. about the airplane miles, because oh, I got so. a <laughs> like I had over a hundred thousand miles on a credit card that oh. I was able to. I mean, I flew to Italy for free last year. That's Mine is mine's about the air, air, yeah. airfare. Double and, miles. And all the uh, cash back bonuses and all that fun stuff. I'm like, yeah, that works. I still make sure I pay the balance at the end of each month. So and then, and then once you get all buried in the credit card thing, then you go try to find a credit company that you consolidate, consolidate all your stuff, and then you make them a big payment. Mm -hmm. I know a gentleman that did that, and they didn't manage it. <gasps> he, he paid several thousands of dollars to this credit card company. company. Yes, to take care of the debt. Right. They were going to consolidate it all, 
and they got away from them, and it, he just ended up losing a lot of money both ways. Wow. So, Ooh, too terrible. many scammers, too yeah. many scammers. We're going to be right back with more Real People, Real Life. Avoid the scammers. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour, Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. Creativity isn't something you learn. It's something you discover. We're all born creative, but it isn't always fully realized. Take ideas and turn your vision into something tangible. Not just to grow, but to thrive, to test yourself, and to find your instincts. Mold your own path to success. Experience yourself in your true colors. At Bethany College at Mindfire, our goal is to see your future created. Bethany College at Mindfire, create your future. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more. Sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. It's the annual 2 plus 2 equals 0 at Credit King Auto Sales. I told Dad, perfect timing. It's right in time for back to school. It is so easy. Two years of your job, two years where you live, and with those two things, you can drive off with zip, zero, not a nothing down. Pretty cool, huh? Come in now and save some serious money with the annual Credit King 2 plus 2 equals 0 down payment. Credit King Auto Sales. Bad credit, no credit. No worries at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas, America. 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 The, future, the future of America is small business, always has been. And you mentioned that you've got a business. Could you tell yeah. us more? Well, uh, how I, many? <laughs> no, this, I just have the one I did consulting for uh, uh, maintenance for an oil company or oil research company. Okay. And, of course, that business has changed quite a bit. I was going to say, they're not happy yeah. campers with the oil prices. But I've been in the car business uh, since 86. Okay. What about so, when you were doing And real stuff? estate. Well, I have... You know, one that's for rent, but you're funny. I know, right? <laughs> and, but anyway, we, uh, I like to learn every day. I think, I think that everybody, if they have an opportunity, they should just keep their eyes and ears open and try to learn something new every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep oh, you alive and going. Learn like these young day. people that were here earlier, they, you know, uh, once they get through the, the situation, you know, of civil rights and everything mm -hmm. out of the way, people can go forward in their lives and, and right. go grab those dreams that they want. Right. You know, without getting up every morning and listening to stuff on TV or someone's upset, someone's not being treated right. Right. Mm -hmm. I, but. you know, I got to tell you, the last general election that we had in here in the state of Kansas, <coughs> excuse me, viewership on the networks, okay, de 
decrease. I can't remember if it was 30 or 35%. Mm -hmm. And we're already looking at a complete tune out of at least 30 to 35% now. Okay. And we haven't even barely begun, you know. So I think there's a lot of people that are just like they, they're tuning it out. They just, they've had it up to here, you know, and they're just catching. And the sad thing with that is that goes back to snippets. That goes back to headlines. So they're tired of hearing it going over and over and over. So they're relying on a headline or they're relying on, you know, a little two or three minute bleep. And the thing that scares me about that is a headline is one thing, but it's not always the whole story. Right. That concerns me. Off well, that's for headlines sure. are headlines are story that gotcha. betrays the headline. The headline is misleading. Right. How many times have you seen that? A lot. Where a headline was misleading until you actually get in and read the whole story, and it's a whole different thing. Or are you talking about online? I mean, the, probably the most trusted source would be more of your newspapers, but I mean, anything to see online, it's a crapshoot if yeah. it's but just I mean, some completely even your, made even up. Your, even your networks, you know, your ABC oh, yeah. and all those folks. I mean, even who do you using, trust? Social yeah. media. Yeah, I want to know. Yeah. 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 I yeah. find myself being a news junkie and actually now trying to start avoiding all of it, and I'll just go garden and screw all that stuff. I'm putting on some fish or some... <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. you got to find saying. happiness in your yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. There are right. some people that are giving up on their life, which is ridiculous, right. of what's going on in our world. I mean, it's not a pretty picture, but you got to still find happiness in your life and, and pursue forward. And, and that's, you know what, someone, someone told me something really wise once, and I kind of live by this one. You've got to have something to look forward to. Right. Whether it's just going out to eat, or for me, it's like, what's my next trip? Right. And if I don't have a next trip plan, I'm kind of like, that's that's me. You but got, you know, yeah. and if I got a trip plan, then I'm like, everything else I'm doing, I'm motivated to get up in the morning and, and go feed of those the dog. People that have credit card debt, that they gotta get up in the morning to make those things. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah, that's put this positive oh, spin on it there. Right. 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 Yeah, I get all excited, right. right, when I think I've got like a, a weekend or like four or five days where I can skip on over to my place in Colorado and hang out and oh, enjoy man. all the beauty and everything and then it never fails. Something comes up. I gotta do this, gotta do that. Responsibility, paying them credit cards, bills and all this comes into place. Boy. And I'm like Rody Jones and to go on the next trip, man. I'm, and then I'm, it's like my, oh man. I, I'm driving up US fifty. I'm headed west toward Canyon City. And on my right Pikes Peak, up ahead the wet mountains, and over here Sunday the Crystal yep. Mountain. It's a beautiful thing. I go by Pueblo Boulevard. I go to Purcell. I turn around, turn around, I do, I'm at Marisol Therapeutics. <laughs> Got to be one of the best cannabis Marisol stores in the world. Marisol Therapeutics. <laughs> what is that? Tell he goes that. to Marisol. Top secret. We can't he tell you. He goes to Marisol. I go to Butt Hut. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, Marisol. I'm kind of lost, you guys. I don't... I'm not into that right now. So. That's good. That's a good That's thing. Good. Well, if you go to Colorado. I think when I get a taxi cab when I'm 70. Um, Here's the, the beautiful thing about Colorado. <laughs> start talking it's a like civilized these, state. Yeah. People can sit around. If we want to talk about cannabis, I don't have to worry about you, you, or you turning me into the police because it's legal. Right. And it's on TV here. That's hey. right. Oh, yeah. oh, you just hey. did it yourself. <laughs> Darn. We it's only civilized. do it. Everybody does. In, it's, it's, so you we do what we want to do. When we go to Colorado, in Colorado. <laughs> we do what Coloradans like to do a lot. <laughs> yeah, they do. So Marisol, who, who's one of the co-owners of Marisol? In the, in oh, the I don't know. The, huh? I think it's, uh, is it Tommy? That's one of the owners now? It might be because they have that's three where they push that product. Chong Star is one yeah. of the big sellers. Yeah. Chong Star. Chong Star. Uh, as as for a yeah. special wow. blend dedicated to Tommy Chong. I used to work with, for Tommy Chong. All right. You I probably think know all owns, the details. I think he there. is one of the owners in how many locations of, of the Marisol store? They have several. Several now. Okay, several. That, when I was first there, the New Year's Day, uh, however many years ago, when, when they added recreational to the then medical, um, yeah, they only have one store then. And they're, getting, anyway. and they're getting ready to add a new product by Carlos Santana. Sometimes. Hey, remember yeah. now, yeah. Willie Nelson has a little shot. Right. Yes, he does. Rock and roll, right? I know. So, and, and this is what, as the money as it becomes more yeah. and more accepted. And the Hey, feds, will it bring the cost of this stuff down? Somewhat. You know, like the cell phone. Right. Now, you had to go finance the phone. What we've heard... And, you know, and what we heard is in Pueblo, <laughs> there's a shop that you go in and pay tax. I like paying tax because it's legal. But there are other people doing grows around the city that offer the product for substantially less. However, it's not legal. And so if they legalize well, say it's all over the United States, you let's think, put it this way, you think Mexico would close their doors? 
No. <laughs> I know. We got to go. No, the, you got to the... come back. We didn't even get into it. Oh, we're getting into it. Okay, yeah, we'll just we're come on. Fun. I know. But... I, I think that Roberto would fit well on our panel. I really do. I know. I do, too. I think you should come more often. And he adds uh, some diversity to it. <laughs> I know, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I brought a little color. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we were laughing about Rhodey's suntan legs the other day. Uh, we were, weren't we? Hmm? They're awesome. It's gardening. We'll talk someday about shorts, right? That'll yeah. be a topic. We'll talk okay, about shorts. yeah. <laughs> and, and like, who invented the shorts? <laughs> huh? Who invented the shorts? We'll have to figure that out. Yeah. In the episodes. You should know. You don't know? <laughs> Seriously? I don't know everything. Almost. Like, see, okay, almost. we will so be back with another edition of Real People, Real Life with Mr. Almost Knows It All. <laughs> all right. Love y'all. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. Creativity isn't something you learn. It's something you discover. We're all born creative, but it isn't always fully realized. Take ideas and turn your vision into something tangible. Not just to grow, but to thrive, to test yourself, and to find your instincts. Mold your own path to success. Experience yourself in your true colors. At Bethany College at Mindfire, our goal is to see your future created. Bethany College at Mindfire, create your future. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2 You deserve to feel fantastic. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. It's the annual 2 plus 2 equals 0 at Credit King Auto Sales. I told Dad, perfect timing. It's right in time for back to school. It is so easy. Two years of your job, two years where you live, and with those two things, you can drive off with zip, zero, nada, nothing down. Pretty cool, huh? Come in now and save some serious money with the annual Credit King 2 plus 2 equals 0 down payment. Credit King Auto Sales. Bad credit, no credit. No worries at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. 